We've been lucky enough to be living in Athens for a whole month now and we are absolutely in love with the place. So today we're going to share how much it cost us to live here for an entire month. Hey guys, I'm Ross. And I'm Beth. So for those of you that are new here, we quit our jobs. We travel full time and we stay in cities for one month at a time. So if you want to follow our journey, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss our future videos. To give you a feel for how much it cost us, we've broken it down into eight categories because we think they're the most important areas. So this is always the big one and it's something that we always plan in advance. So we found something on Airbnb and it's spacious. It's really good in terms of location. We're really close to the Acropolis and Monasteraki, which is this really cool square to go visit. Um, but there's lots of local restaurants where we are too. It's five minutes from the city. So our total cost there was 672 euros, which is the tiniest bit more than what we were spending in Asia. So it's really, for us, working well. Now, if you want to use Airbnb and you haven't done that already, we have a link down below where you get a discount and I think it helps us as well. So if you want to support us and you want a discount, follow the link. So getting around in Athens is really easy. Uh, we have a, a metro just around the corner and it's super reliable. It's I think one euro 50 per trip or if you buy more and you buy five or 10 tickets in one go, you get a really good deal. So we love that, that was really cool. Um, it's just easy to get to all the key spots in Athens using that. If you wanna use a bus, do it. Just sort of cross your fingers a little bit because they're a little bit sporadic when, uh, when they come. We've been stuck a few nights in the city at the wrong time and it says it comes every 20 minutes and an hour later we're, we're still waiting. So, you know, they are good, but yeah, use the metro if you can. So for lunches and breakfast, we just like to keep it really simple. We have a mix between local food and just some home cooked things. We quite often make a salad in Greece. The local vegetables and fruit are just insane. Tomatoes just taste different here. They're so good. Uh, so we'll make um, you know Greek salads and lots of little things uh, at home pretty affordably. I don't know if that's a word, affordably. The total cost for us for the month was 175 euros. There's lots of ways that you can keep it tasty and cheap and even if you're out in the city, there's lots of little bakeries that you can go in and get yourself a delicious pastry for you know one to two euros. Uh, so really cool if you're out on the go just to stop in and, and they're everywhere. So yeah, enjoy those if you come to Athens. Dinner in Greece is pretty good. Most places are going to be less than 10 euros per person. We found that a lot of the local places, the taverna or taverna, I'm not sure how to say it. Put some comments down below, but they're really good. You can get meze really easy. Delicious though. You can get four, five different dishes on the table for well under 20 euros. And if you really fancy it, you can get half a liter of wine for a couple of euros as well. So yeah, delicious experiences. Um, the weird thing in Greece is that everywhere we tried just got better and better and better. If you haven't seen our foodie videos, check them out. Total cost 352 euros for the month. I'm still hungry thinking about dinner. So fun is kind of a pseudo word for beer and wine for us. And look, we went out uh, a few times. It's reasonably affordable for, like I said, in the dinner bit, for three euros, you can get half a liter of local wine. That's, you know, why, why drink anything else? Drink the local stuff, it's great. Uh, 
if you want some beer, you can go to a lot of their local little markets. You get a big pint can of beer for a euro to a euro 50, uh, depending on what you're into. If you like beer, check out our beer challenge. Now Athens does have some swanky bars as well. And I mean swanky, I mean a little bit more pricey. So if you're into that thing, it's still not too bad. In terms of Western prices, you're still talking in pretty reasonable price um, in that five to 10 euro zone for cocktails and different spirits. But yeah, depends what you're into. Total cost was 50 euros. Probably went out a handful of times. Bills, always a big one for, for everyone. Everyone loves bills. We get so many comments about bills. Bills were 112 euros for the month. Our main cost is travel insurance. And being a, a full-time traveler, I strongly encourage you to have it if you get sick or something happens to your equipment. Uh, for us, that's you know quite expensive. Uh, we need that replaced ASAP, so yeah. Or if we're not well, we need to be fixed ASAP. So yeah, definitely get yourself some travel insurance. We also pay for a VPN, SIM cards. We always get a SIM card each when we get to a, another destination, and that's been really good. That's about 10 euros each. Now finally, Tap water is all good in Greece. It's delicious. So uh, we didn't really need to load up on buying bottled water like we were doing in Asia, but we did buy some coffees out. And the coffees range in that one to two euro zone. Our total cost for the month was 30 euros. And we were really lucky that in our apartment we had this really cool percolator and we went and bought some freshly ground Greek coffee and uh, we would just blend that up every morning in there and it was absolutely delicious. So yeah, we were very lucky that we were able to just make it at home and it was almost as tasty as buying it out in a cafe. So we were pretty happy with that. But yeah, it's not too expensive if you buy one when you're out and about as well. Now our Airbnb host was amazing. Everything was stocked up. Um, there was really nothing left for us to buy. So our household goods and sort of the top up on all the bits that you might need, it was only 18 euros for the whole month. So our total cost for the whole month in Greece, and a little asterisk there, we loved it and we lived like kings and queens, was 1,478 euros. Now guys, we work online, so we've got some different jobs that we do online to earn as much income as we have expenses. So we've been trying to do that as we go to really make sure that we cover all of the expenses and we don't dip into any savings. If you're interested in doing that, we will run some videos soon sharing what we do and what's been working for, for us. So if you're interested in that, keep your eyes peeled for that. That will be out very soon. Like it, subscribe it, comment it, do all the other things that you need to do. You know what to do. And we will see you next time. Bye. So to cover a cost of living, uh, we think the best way to do this is to cover these eight categories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight categories. 